I am the Nerf Curator. Hey, what up YouTube? This is Triple By Vacation, also known as Triple B. I am the Nerf Curator! Welcome back to another show. I am here with Captain Xavier. And we are doing a show called Forgotten Nerf, if you've been keeping along each week. Uh, we are doing old blasters and we are telling the price, which is very, very much important, uh, the functionality, and um, why they were popular or not popular back in the day. Yeah. And yes, this was shamelessly uh, an homage to Forgotten Weapons by Ian McCullum. Uh, we're doing a similar format and it just, it fits. So, what we have here is another part of the Cyber Strike line. We already showed off the Defender TF3. This is the Auto Grip. And it was just another one of those neat, gimmicky, cyberpunky things that came out of the 90s. This one uh, does not have the original arm strap. This is, in fact, um, rollerblade handguard type thing, but it, it works absolutely perfectly for this. Uh, took Modified out the, by the Took captain. out the brace that usually goes there to protect your hand and just slipped this in. And then this is a flip-up blaster so it's Dude, check, in your show hand that, show that to him that's so cool so it folds down you push the little button here with your pinky and it pops up into your hand pops up into your hand and you fold it back down pop that's it back cool. into your hand um primes out forward so it's not exactly inconspicuous yeah i was gonna say if it, it primed they had primed the other way yeah if they primed it the other way it would have it would have been but then they would have had to work out that the hose right because it's the hose that travels through to the back pop up and it shoots That'd and be... it, it's neat. That is neat. It's a, it's a cool little gimmicky thing. It's like one of those card things where they pop the card in your yeah, hand. Yeah, exactly. Or, 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 you know, people did or, those with guns. Or, or you the, have a gun a up your sleeve group. and you yep, pop out. Pop. And that's what it is. And it's neat. It's so, really cool. not a whole lot of mod potential, unfortunately, because it doesn't come apart. If I recall, I did it. I tried doing K26 and I couldn't even get into the plunger housing. Uh, and just had to abandon it. Yep. Uh, but it actually does have a fairly stout spring, which it would need given the sheer amount of dead space. Um, mm. I believe it was chambered in old Mega. Sure looks uh, like it. it. Actually, it's that weird size Is it that one? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the in-between size Mega. Yeah. And, um, yeah so, I mean, you could, at the very least, you could rechamber it, which would not be difficult. Just no. get the right size of Pet G or Brass or whatever. CB CPVC was C the, the magic. That was the one back in the day? Yeah, because yep. that was the one that was, it was the right outside diameter for whatever this weird bore is. Yep. And then and the then inside was perfect for the darts. Streamlined. So yeah, that's what you would do with it if you wanted to really wanted to make it at least usable nowadays with modern ammunition. And it would look really cool going down the street and also it'd be like. Uh, yeah, that, that was a neat one. The Cyber Strike line was was weird stuff. So well, talk, tell me about price. What do these things go for if you actually have the original hardware? All right, so original. So we're, we're going to say it's it's basically in better shape than this. You're looking at complete stickers. Um, um, you're looking at about, let's see, what have I seen for 25, 30 bucks? Um, with the box, easily 70 bucks. And that means then you have to be like, you know, all in there tight. Just the box itself, you're going to be getting. Now, complete in the box, sealed, 200 bucks. That old Cyber Strike stuff of. You're looking at a very expensive, very rare to find because kids wanted these things open it was so cool you're rarely going to find them sealed it's 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 a collector's wet dream and if you can find it congratulations uh heck if you even find one with a box congratulations that's really good yeah because the the box art is something collectors really like because it would have all the advertising for the other blasters in the line on the yep, back of them usually. yep and you got to see some of the the stuff that was out there or sometimes on rare rare occasions stuff that never even made it out and that's another rarity that you want to look for too. But yeah, so uh, if you can pick up one of these for anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks, congratulations, you're doing good. Uh, on average price, uh, sitting on eBay is using, like I said, it's gonna be 20 to 25 bucks. Um, and that's plus shipping. So yeah, this is another good collector's line. The You'll, you'll see the Cyber Strike line was just crazy. They had a, what, the chest piece? Yeah, the head armor piece. shot. They had a, they had a, head, a piece. head piece. They had this arm. They had yeah. the TF, you know, the Defender. Defender. Uh, that all matched. Yeah. So when you yeah. had it all, you had a matching Cyber 
cyberpunk, cyberpunk warrior, looking thing yeah. with, with this black and gray and orange motif, which mm -hmm. was really, really slick. Oh, and so modifying. So uh, I'm glad he brought that up. Uh, this thing is solvent welded. And the only, we, we had a few blasters back in the day that we had to learn how to get into these in order to switch out the springs. And unfortunately, the only way to get into these things is hot boiling water and a hair dryer. And it is a hit or miss because sometimes the guys went crazy with the, uh, the solvent weld and the solvent weld just would not give. Uh, other times you barely put it in the hot water and the sucker pops right off. Um, and of course, obviously after you modify it or put a new spring in or add a spring, you're going to have to use uh, super glue or some sort of CPVC solvent weld glue and put that on there and then reseal it and let it sit for at least 12 hours. Uh, better to let it sit for 24 and that way you have a, a, a guaranteed seal again and then you could just rock and roll and you have a much more powerful little hand blaster but this one doesn't do too bad especially if you rebarrel it i don't even know if you'd want to do it because you can fill these old springs they yeah they got some heft to them especially i mean given that this is you know over 20 years old exactly and it still has a fair amount of, of heft there they're fun yeah they really are i like the cyber strike line so there you have it this has been the auto grip from 1993. Three. Yes, sir. Um, and this has been Forgotten Nerf. I've been Captain Xavier. I am the Nerf Curator. Thank you for watching. And I'll keep the light on for you. Bye. Now for the firing. This isn't the one that we actually showed off. This one doesn't have the bracer. I kept that one for using. This one will be the one that goes on the wall. Oh. They fire old Mega, and they work pretty good. To the wall! Here we have the auto grip added to 1996 along with the Defender T3 and the Strong Arm, all part of the Cyber Strike line. It was a good year. So there should be, a, I think there's one more in the Cyber Strike and then there's a bunch of Max Force and a couple of others. So stay tuned. 96 should be a fun year.